All the weathermen, a lot of cleanup all over the state from fallen trees to snap power lines. News 8 had all, a lot of crews out there checking things out. News 8's Ken, Ken Pierce, live in News 8 Control this midday with a look at a uh, very busy morning and overnight. Ken. Keith, it certainly was a very busy morning for all the tree crews and utility crews that were out there. A busy morning for police closing down all of those streets and roads. And a busy morning for firefighters in Portland dealing with what had the potential to be a very dangerous situation. I thought tornadoes were going to happen. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy weather led to scary moments. In Portland, a tree fell on a propane tank, and that meant a rude awakening for Susan and her neighbors. Yeah, we woke up this morning, and I kept hearing all this commotion, and then I heard somebody saying, evacuate, we've got to get these people to evacuate. And I'm like, oh, my God, we got to get up. Crews got that situation under control, but downed trees were everywhere. In the dark, it was hard to see them until you were right on top of them. This one on Mill Road in North Haven was sitting on top of live power lines. These big branches blocked part of Temple Street near Route 5, with another big branch twisted off 40 feet in the air and threatening to fall. This big branch came down right on a road in Old Lyme. Lonnie Brown sent us this picture of a tree that came down roots and all in New London. Christopher Morin sent us these photos from Waterbury. Part of the tree came down in a previous storm, and this time the rest hit a utility pole and a parked car. Part of this tree crashed right into the front of this house in Hamden. Milford police had to shut down Fresh Meadow Lane for this tree that fell onto some power lines. This tree came down onto a car in the Fort Trumbull section of Milford, thanks to Eileen for sending it in. Just a few blocks away from there, this tree split right in two around 11.30 Sunday night. I just heard this big crack, boom, and then an explosion, a big burst of light, a big fireball. I wondered what was going on, got out of bed, ran downstairs, power's out. Power was out for this whole block of Seaside Avenue. Electrical crews spent the morning restringing those power lines. As for the tree, it is huge, at least 100 years old, say the neighbors, who were just glad it didn't hit anything else. I'm surprised it didn't hit any houses. It was very fortunate the way it landed. Yeah, fortunate unless you were a baseball fan. I talked to one guy. His power went out in the fifth inning of what was a very exciting World Series game last night. And by the fifth, that game was not even half over, so he missed some good baseball. Still, Keith, his house is okay, so I, I guess that's the lesson to take away from that. Live in News 8 Control, <laughs> I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you. Yeah, he made it okay. Kent, thank you. All right, this is uh, a great time to download our free News 8 app. It's a great place to get notifications when these kind of very serious storms hit. You can also check out our live videos from our great team of meteorologists.